Hi there. Here's the video. Say you made some video recording with a camera recorder or your phone, iPad or whatever. And you want to join those clips together, do some simple cut editing and make a DVD of it. I'm going to show you how you could do that using DVD Styler. I started DVD Styler here. Uh, I'm using version 3.0.2 and I'll start by making a new project. Here I define my initial setting for my project and I live in a PAL country so I select PAL and I don't want any template. Over here I have some video clips I'm going to use and I'll drag the first one to DVD style like this. I want to add my next clip as a chapter to that video. I could do it up here or I could do right click down here and add my file as a chapter. And I'll add this clip and I'll actually add it once more, the same clip. So. Now I got one title, one video, it has three clips in it, one is the same. And the reason I want the same clip is because if I double click on it to get its property, you'll see three dots over here, and clicking on that, it gives you the video property. Here you can do cuts and say, these are 10 seconds clips, so if I want to make a clip, I cut here at 5 seconds, I do like this. Also, I want to have a fade in, and a fade out of this clip, like this. Ok that, ok that. And for this clip, or this video down here, uh, chapter 3, I do the same. I want to clip that as starting at 5 seconds, like this. I don't need to fill the end, it will go to the end. And also for this clip, I want the fade in. Or I could take a fade out as well. Okay that. Okay that. And for my first one without clips, Without any cuts in it, uh, I'll just have a fade out here. Okay. Now, I could make a create a menu uh, with the buttons, and if I double click on the menu, I have the chance to use a, a picture or anything or video as background, but. Uh, for this, I'll just delete my button here again. Instead, I'm going to use double click on my menu over here and give it as a pre-command to jump to title 1 in order to start my video on the DVD like this. And if I double click on this part, the title 1-3, uh, the post command for this is to call last menu, so it will just loop uh, the video on the d DVD. And I'm then ready to make my DVD, or rather first time around I'll create an ISO image, giving me a chance to check the DVD before I actually burn it. And I'll start this one. it was a success so I can close this go back to my file manager and down here I'll find oh that's how tight I'll do it like this and over here I find my ISO that I can test before burning it double click on it I have this associated with VLC the first clip is for 10 seconds and it should produce a fade out here and start my next clip with a two seconds fade in and fade out fade in for the last part of it 
and then start all over again. Well, that's about it. Bye from now.